Imagine you're watching a gymnast compete on the balance beam this summer in the Olympics. She's losing all track of the ground beneath her while flipping through the air, yet she still manages to land on her feet. When I'm at the farm milking cows for my research, this is an image that often comes into my mind. And I can hear you now. Sarah, how can a graceful gymnast and a 1500 pound clunky cow have anything in common? To that I say balance. Very similar to a gymnast flipping across a balance beam, dairy nutrition requires a complex balance of many moving parts. And as someone who loves the challenge of a good balancing problem, this is where I come into the picture. My research is focused on one main goal, which is how can we balance a diet for a cow that keeps her healthy and productive. With this, there are three factors that we keep in mind along the dairy production cycle, the farmer, the cow's health, and the consumer. So more specifically within dairy nutrition, my research is completely focused on all things related to fat. In many places, milk is priced using both the milk produced as well as the components such as the protein and fat, with milk fat being the most valuable. Fortunately for dairy farmers, milk fat is also the component that's the most susceptible to change. If we can increase the fat content in the diet, we can increase the amount and type of fat going into the milk. One way we do this is through the use of fat supplements to target the energy needs of the cow. For my research with supplements, I focus first on how digestible they are to ensure the cow is able to meet her needs and then as well as how much they change production. However, given how susceptible milk fat is to change, it is just as easy to drop it and lower profitability as it is to raise it. This often stems from something being off balance within the diet. For instance, instead of using fat supplements, there are a number of high energy feeds that can be used like corn. Unfortunately, too much of these types of feeds can cause some serious issues for the cow. One metabolic disorder, which I study is called milk fat depression. And this is seen by a stark decrease in the amount of fat in the milk as well as the production of compounds with negative health effects. So my work has a focus on how we can prevent this when cows are fed high risk diets. And then finally, the consumer is a huge piece in this as we balance what is needed for products. While it can be hard to believe, not all fat is bad. The composition of milk fat factors into many of its really great qualities. And it contains compounds that have important roles in keeping the body healthy. Most importantly, milk fat is what many of our delightful products are made from. Since the end goal is to have a product for consumers, it is key to keep this part of the system in mind so they are confident that what they are consuming is healthy and tasty. So while you may not see a cow performing back handsprings this summer in the Olympics, I hope the next time you drink some milk, you think of our gymnasts and the farmers who are helping to coach them along. Thank you.